Okay, hi everyone, welcome back and in this video we are going to check out VeChain's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Wave's classic technical analysis and also indicators and I'm going to in this video tell you why in my opinion VeChain might be done for now and for the short term we're not going to look at WeChain in like a necessarily optimistic way. But before we see what is happening in this area, let's check out the midterm scenario first. And I'm not going to actually check out the long term scenario in here because I got a couple of other things to say and I just do not want to make this video too long. You see, in terms of Elios Waves, if you want to argue that we are going to have our final bottom around, let's say this area, maybe this is going to be like a very important support. What you need to find off of the lowest low is a one, two, three four five wave impulsive structure on the upside now this specific example is a normal five wave the rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and four and in any kind of impulsive structure wave three in here just shouldn't be the smallest wave and in terms of the sub waves you probably know it by now we are going to have five wave up into wave one three and five there we go and for corrections for wave 2 and 4, we can consider different possibilities. Let's say maybe ABC down into 4 and like a WXY down into wave 2. And if we can find this structure off of the lowest low in WeChain's price chart with all the sub waves, we can actually be bullish. Now, here is the problem. In my opinion, starting from these lows to somewhere around this high, we are going to have actually a correction up and not an impulsive movement. And the main problem for this pattern on the upside being an impulsive structure actually comes down to the sub waves. You see, I believe we are having a WXYZ in form of a triple zigzag. And these patterns on the upside do actually look quite more like an ABC rather than five waves on the upside. Here is our first ABC up into wave W, correction for wave X, another ABC up into our wave Y, correction for another wave X, and this is going to be our final zigzag on the upside into wave Z. Now, according to this scenario, at one point, we are going to get a move down in WeChain in order to set new lows and take the lowest low in here about, let's say, 1.3 and a half cents. And again, this means at one point we are going to get a move down. For example, we can have another big move on the upside and thereafter we can get a move down and set new lows. This is also another possibility. Let's actually check out also the bullish scenario because I want to be objective. Let's go on which chart was it? I think it was Binance's one. Yeah, okay. You see, according to the bullish scenario, we can actually find like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure on the upside in this area when you look at it from a zoom out point of view. But again, the problem in here to me comes down to the sub waves for this wave 3 and also maybe this wave 5, but mostly again for this wave 3 right in here. And here's another problem. It seems like that in here, we want to have a 5 wave impulsive structure down and not a correction structure. So again, this can be another reason to believe maybe the bearish scenario overall at the moment in WeChain is going to be in play. But the most important problem for me, if I want to be bullish in WeChain, comes down to classic technical analysis, meaning support and resistances. Let's go back on our own chart. Where is it? There we go. You see, we talked about this issue before. In terms of classic technical analysis, meaning support and resistances, we are having an unbelievably important support area right in here, which is from weekly and daily time frame at the same time. And if you want to say this is broken, what you need to do is actually this. You need to go on weekly time frame and see a candle close under here and then pull back and a continuation of the move down. And when in this move we take this low, we can argue with quite a bit of confidence that this support is broken and here's a very important point because under here we're not having in my opinion a whole lot of strong supports chances are if we get a break of this thing the next target is unfortunately going to be setting new lows and taking the lowest low all the way down here again about 1.3 and a half cents and the fact that at the moment we are under this area makes me say you know what maybe soon we are going to get a break of it now why did I say at the beginning of the video that I'm not actually going to look at WeChain in a very optimistic way, at least right now? Here is why. You see, in the previous videos, we were saying, well, okay, in like very short time, we can find a 5 wave up in here and then a correction down. And when we were around these areas, I was saying, look, we are going to have another move on the upside. And we did actually get our move up. But I also said 
that we just shouldn't get a move down in WeChain in order to take this low right in here about let's say 2.1 and a half cents and what happened in the last couple of days we actually took this low so why is taking this low so important because now that we have taken this thing at this point at least for me there is like no shot to be able to find an impulsive structure in this area and chances are we are having a correction up and most likely it's going to be in form of an abc zigzag which the subways for us are going to be like this five up into a correction for wave b maybe abc maybe wxy doesn't really matter that much and then another five up into wave c and as you can see this is very clear five up off of the low slow into a correction for b and another move up into our select so because we took this slow now we can say with quite a bit of confidence that this is a correction up off of the low slow and it means our move down unfortunately in which end is going to continue for quite a bit and in it we are going to take the low slow in here for the first target about let's say 1.9 cents and at this point we are probably going to have a confirmation that this level right in here is broken and it means maybe taking this low right in here is not going to be enough and from here we are going to continue going down in order to actually and unfortunately set new lows and take the lowest low about we said before 1.3 and a half cents so this is why right now at least for me i'm not going to be necessarily optimistic in which express chart and we might at least for now be done now if we want to go down are we going to get like a huge move on the downside from the current point maybe maybe not for example this can be starting from this high like five wave down into wave one and then we are going to have in like very short term meaning in the next couple of days a move on the upside that would be normal however chances are that move is going to be a correction into wave two and after it's over we are going to get a continuation of the downtrend into wave three and four and five so you see we might go up in like very short term but again, because in this move down, we took this low, in my opinion, any kind of move on the upside in which is just going to be a correction and not any positive movement. And even if we take the highest side in here about, let's say, two and a half cents, even at that point, I'm going to argue this is going to be, again, just a correction and structure. And after it's over, we are going to continue our move down in which chain structure. Now, what is going on in terms of indicators and do they also suggest the same? Let's zoom in a bit more in weekly time frame. Okay. As you can see, we are having a sell signal in MACD and a buy signal in SOC RSI. However, again, because we are under this very, very important area, I'm not really going to count on this signal that much. So in weekly time frame, overall, I'm going to argue that we are actually quite more bearish than bullish. And in daily time frame, we are having now a confirmed sell signal in MACD, but a buy signal in a stock or side so what's the plan here again like i told you earlier there is a chance that in like very short term we are going to get like some moves on the upside that's absolutely fine but for me i'm not really going to say that these are actually long pressures okay and if you don't know what a long pressure is i've talked about it in the technical analysis course videos part two yesterday and if you want to have access to those videos you can become a member otherwise just notice this is, in my opinion, one way or the other, a correction up and after it's over, we are going to again get a continuation of the move down. So in which end, I'm going to be very much bearish because in this move, we have taken this low. And again, for now, and just for me, which end might be done. So I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in which end's price chart. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.